Hi guys, this is Henry here, one of the co-founders here at BreakFree, and I just wanted to give you guys a quick update to how BreakFree is doing, what we've been doing these past couple of months, and uh, where your product is. Uh, so without further ado, uh, I will dive into some of the things that we've been doing. As you know, we kicked off tooling from our last update. Uh, we have uh, started production and producing some of the components and uh, I was actually in uh, Southern China Shenzhen area uh, earlier this year to talk to the vendors see the production parts and I was able to bring back some of the products. So here is um, One of the lens components that I brought back. This is basically the front lens component that you see uh, we have injection molded plastic uh, hard plastic in the center and then a, a TPU uh, rubber-like component that goes all the way around. This is a two-shot part, meaning that uh, the hard plastic is shot first and then the whole tool rotates over and then uh, the soft part is shot second. So it provides a very strong adhesion. This is not glued on, it's, it's on there and uh, it's gonna protect this product uh, very well. Um, this also provides some of the weather sealing for some of the some of our ingress areas, which is uh, the power button here. So as you can see, this is actually a single piece design. There's nowhere for the water to get in here. Um, also, the bottom has the micro USB port. So this is where uh, the charging cable will be inserted and uh, firmware updates, etc., will be done. Uh, next up, we have the cap, which has the Break Free logo on it. Um, that will be placed on top to complete the facade that you guys know. This is uh, what our product looks like when it's on your helmet with the lights off. Um, next, we have uh, perhaps one of the most important components to our product, it's the back plate. Uh, this may just look like just a simple piece of uh, black plastic, but it's actually got uh, both our helmet mount system here, uh, as well as a uh, also a second shot um, rubber-like gasket that goes around the entire perimeter, despite being it being a curved surface and having kind of various breaks in the outline. So this this gasket goes around the entire perimeter, and when it mates with our front housing, um, it creates a watertight seal here. So. That brings me to my next point, which is the reliability that we've been doing, testing that we've been doing these past uh, couple of months. So since we got these parts, we have done some preliminary uh, water ingress testing, and we have found that these units are great so far. Uh, of course, that took a little time. When we first tested some in initial parts, uh, we've had to make some adjustments into the gasket thickness, uh, into the gasket durometer, um, etc to get them to um, be robust enough for our testing so um, but I'm happy to say that we currently have a, a product that is IPX5 uh, tested um, I think we'll include a link uh, so you can read more about what that testing is about um, of course that is only one test we uh, still have a lot more testing to go uh, we have done some preliminary drop testing but we will be doing um, more drop testing uh, in the future, um, we have um, with this part, this is the helmet mount. This one's fresh off the injection molding machine. Um, still have the gate here on it. I have one that's been trimmed. Here is the mount, and this is a uh, glass filled uh, nylon component. Um, so we actually uh, you adhere this to the, the helmet mount. Of course, when we ship this to you, uh, the adhesive will already be applied to your uh, helmet mount. All you have to do is remove the liner and stick it on your helmet. Um, so with this component, uh, it has the snap feature, which uh, allows us to clip the light onto your helmet. So once you apply this mount to the back of your helmet, as I have done so here, this is my new helmet, the GT Air. Um, I like it very much. Didn't uh, spend the money for the GTR2, but this is a good compromise. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this is the helmet mount. I have adhered it with the VHB and uh, it's on there very rigidly. Um, very difficult to get off, similar to, you know, a lot of the GoPro mounts that you see on the market today. Uh, so once you get that on there, uh, I have actually a production unit here that's fully assembled with all the PCBs inside and the batteries. Um, 
Let me just give you guys a quick demo of this part. And it lights up, it has our current production firmware on it. Um, and you just hold down to turn it off and that's it. Uh, so one of the testing with the helmet mount, uh, probably one of the most tedious parts of my job is uh, to test uh, to do reliability testing on this, which just involves me clicking it off, clicking it on, clicking it off, clicking it on. Awesome. But for you guys, I'd do anything. Here we go. Um, let's see. So with this mount, uh, this testing, so on this particular amount, I've tested it about 5,000 times and um, it's held up really well. Other than some scuffs that you see here, on the back of this unit and there's not really anything on this piece, this component. Um, there hasn't been much wear and tear. Uh, I'll be doing additional force testings, but from this, my hand dyno here, it, doesn't, it hasn't felt any different. Um, you can hear that there's an audible click when you disengage the, the light from it and you can remove it versus when you, uh, when you click it on. So it's, uh, you can actually feel the vibration as well. So even when you have gloves or you have the helmet on already, you just want to put it on behind your head. I, I find that it's uh, maybe a little difficult the first time, but after you get used to it, it's pretty easy to find it, locate it and snap it in. And you get a nice audible and tactile feedback for when that's engaged and it's fully on there. Um, so moving on, let's talk about some of the things that we still have to do. Uh, there's still a slew of reliability testing that we have to do. We have uh, have to do drop tests, uh, drop testing on additional units. We have to do high temp, high humidity, uh, thermal shock. Um, these are all pretty standard, uh, industry standard for consumer electronics. So just to ensure that this product can survive in all sorts of weathers and um, is robust enough for for anything you guys can throw at it. Um, Next up, I think um, some of the changes we have coming up. So after our current build, we'll be heading into our DVT build, which is design validation testing. And during that phase of the build, um, we will have uh, to texture our units. So all the components you see here, um, they're currently not textured. There's also some cosmetic blemishes that you can see that we're trying to work towards, like this guy right here. Um, and it'll have a nice matte texture throughout the whole thing. Uh, there's also going to be a texture on the light itself to uh, diffuse the light coming out. Uh, as you saw with this unit, the lights are still kind of, you can still see all the individual LEDs. I think we'll make that a little more diffused um, as we get closer to the production unit. Um, so those are uh, the texturing of all the components is one of the major things. Uh, ma major changes between EVT and DVT. Uh, next up would be... Hold on one second. Next up would be um, some of the gaps and the finishes for this product. So uh, here you can see this is our um, current unit that we have manufactured and once it's clicked on it's very solidly held on there doesn't want to come out uh, but there is a little little wiggle in the unit um, this is by design we want to make sure our first production run doesn't run into any fitment issues and uh, it is also very easy for us to uh, grow plastic components versus remove plastic from these injection molding parts um, due to the injection molding process and the tooling process. So uh, as we go into the next round, before the next round gets kicked off, we'll be making some changes to these plastic components to grow some of these surfaces so that to get rid of some of these wobble. It's very minor even right now, but we'll be, uh, we'll be tuning that and making it the best possible uh, fit. Um, next up would also be this back cover to front housing uh, gap here. So we have a gap that goes around, of course, the entire perimeter of the product. Um, that gap is a little larger than uh, I would like, so we'll be tightening that up as well to make it 
look more seamless. Um, yeah, here, this is something you guys didn't see earlier. So we have a little rubber flap that uh, protects the micro USB area right here. Uh, the flap just goes in and kind of clicks in. There's a little nail pick for you to uh, to pick it up. Um, so this helps with sealing that general area, but also uh, our micro USB connector itself is has a gasket in it as well. So this is not going to leak. Um, so we are good there. Um, another change that we are making on the EE, the electrical engineering side of things, is uh, the board. Uh, it's mostly solid. This is our main PCBA, which is then soldered to, uh, currently it's soldered to these uh, light boards, which makes it a little more difficult to uh, for production. So uh, we are changing them all to connectors. Um, similarly to this connector on the back, it will help us in our production. It's a little bit more at a cost, but you know, it's going to save us a lot more headache doing the uh, production run. Um, and I think that is all from uh, the hardware side of things at, uh, at uh, Break Free. Um, we hope to um, you know, get all the testing as soon as possible, make these changes. And uh, during DVT, we will uh, make a larger batch. Then you will see more of these things out there. Uh, we'll have beta testing done. Um, we'll definitely reach out to some of you that have helped us in the past uh, for beta testing uh, these production units. Um, and after that, it's full steam ahead to mass production. So thank you for bearing with us. I know it's been a long road, but we are trying our best to get these products out to you uh, in the best possible form. We're doing our due diligence and uh, uh, we really hope you Love our product. All right. See ya.